these glass and ceramic points were made by Aboriginal men from the northwestern region of Western Australia known as the Kimberley region. They were made out of bottle glass or insulator cap glass from telegraph lines, as well as ceramic materials perhaps from crockery or from insulator caps themselves. The overland telegraph route went from Adelaide to Darwin and via submarine cable to London. It was a major commercial endeavour and local Aboriginal peoples would commonly take the insulator caps from the top of telegraph lines, as well as some of the wire to then use in making objects. This material made its way to the Kimberley region, where this glass was repurposed into spear points, known quite commonly as Kimberley points. Although Kimberley points themselves are just as often made out of stone materials, the more famous pieces were made from glass. They represent a curious case in which European collectors seem to be unaware of the cultural entanglement in front of them. The first director of the Pitt Rivers Museum, Henry Balfour, declared these objects as the finest examples of Neolithic art. They are in fact not lithic. Instead, they are a product of industrialized society, repurposed by hunter-gatherer craftsmen, and then resold to collectors from the industrial society. In one sense, then, they are acts of cultural resistance. 